Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a demonstration on how to make the 50% nitric acid given to us by Laser Steve's recipe. Um, I'm just going to briefly go over the things you're going to need for this process and then I will start it. Okay, first thing is just a basic container that's going to catch any spills or if there's breakage with the heating apparatus. Then there is a standard hot plate. Uh, I got this at Walmart for about 30 bucks. I'm going to need two vessels that can store nitric acid. This one, the smaller one, is going to be for the condensation process. Um, and the bigger one is for your final product and what you'll store it in. Here we just have a basic coffee pot. Uh, this is what we're going to use to boil the water and all the other materials needed for this process. Here we have some coffee filters. This is going to be used to go over the coffee pot and then it will be sprayed down. What this does is it does a very good job of keeping any of the fumes that will emit from this process at bay. It will keep it right in here no problem to any neighbors or pets or anything like that. You have just a standard spray bottle filled with distilled water. Standard measuring cup. This one uses milliliters, ounces, and cups. For this process I'm going to be using milliliters. Then we have your concentrated sulfuric acid. Um, I choose to use liquid fire. This is 98% pure uh, this can be gotten at Ace Hardware. This is one liter. Then here we have the sodium nitrate. Um, I'm using 700 grams. Uh, Laser Steve's recipe calls for 170 grams of sodium nitrate for every 100 milliliters of distilled water. I'm doing five times the amount. Um, I've done a little experimentation with this and I found that I get better results with 700 opposed to the full 850 grams of sodium nitrate. Um, you can do a little of your own experimentation, but I found that this has given me the best results at higher volumes. Here we have a standard plastic mixing spoon. This is going to be used to mix all your materials. Then here we have uh, gloves. These are chemical resistant and these are just standard latex. For this process I'll be using the standard latex. Um, I'm pretty good about not spilling anything on my hands so I don't really need these for this process. I'm going to just use the latex. As always, this is probably the most important safety equipment you can have are some standard goggles. Um, and that's it. I'm going to pour the 500 milliliters into my coffee pot and I will get back to you when it's at a good boil. Okay, we're back. It's been about five minutes. I have the water at a nice boil. As you can see, I've put the filter on top of the coffee pot, sprayed it down. I'm going to begin to add the 700 grams of sodium nitrate. Um, there's really nothing too complicated about this. You're basically just adding the sodium nitrate and it letting it dissolve into solution. Um, I recommend that you do 50 to 100 grams of the sodium nitrate. It will make it go a lot faster and it will be a lot easier. Um, one thing to note is that with the saturation of the solution, you're going to want a coffee pot that can hold at least 10 cups for 500 milliliters worth. Um, by the time this is all said and done, it's going to be up to about 8 cups. So I'm going to take the sodium nitrate, drop some in, and that's basically it. You can stir at the very beginning, and it'll dissolve most of it. And any that doesn't get dissolved, put the filters back on and you let it boil. As you can see in the beginning of the process it will be very fast. 
Um, this is because the solution is not saturated at all yet. You can see I did that about 20 seconds, not even. So you're going to continue that 50 to 100 milli or I'm sorry grams until this solution is totally saturated, super saturated. So I'm just going to turn the tape off and uh, I'll get back with you when this is all dissolved. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. Um, I have the 700 grams of sodium nitrate uh, fully dissolved in the solution. As you can see, it's at a nice boil uh, and there is absolutely no sodium nitrate that's still in pellet form. Um, the key to this process here is a good boil. As long as you can get the good boil, you'll get all the sodium nitrate. It won't be a problem. Um, as I stated before, I've even done this with 850 grams of sodium nitrate, and it worked out just fine. There was absolutely none left in the solution. So what I'm going to do now is take this off, filter, and show you exactly what happens here. Lower the boiler and you'll see that a film develops on the top surface. This is because of the supersaturation of the sodium nitrate. You can see even as I mix, as soon as I stop, it builds up. So now the key is to let it cool down. I'm going to stop taping and I will get back with you as soon as this is at a good temperature below boiling. And then we will add the sulfuric acid.